follow your heart. What does that mean to you this morning? What does following your heart really, really mean? Take a minute. Think about that. Your heart is very unique. There's no other heart like your very own heart. So therefore, your dreams and your aspirations are unique unto you. There may be many people with the similar dreams and aspirations, but they will not be identical. So having said that, I love to start my morning with spending time with my creator. And I love to study his word. I love to delve into it, take back the covers, remove the rocks, look under the rocks, look over the rocks, look between the pages, research, and look into other people's commentaries. It is just very eye-opening, refreshing, thought-provoking. And you know, he has called us to to study to show ourselves approved. We should be a people slash a person of research, of studying for our own selves, using the tools that's available to us. Well, I started with Genesis 1 1. Where it states, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And I love the fact that there's different versions of the Bible written by different authors, uh, re revised over time into different um, languages, or even um, how we speak today is not how people used to speak years ago. So it uh, it evolves. Nonetheless, God's word still resounds true. So looking at Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What does that mean to you? What comes to mind when you hear that scripture, when you read that scripture? I looked at a commentary uh, by D. Greg M.A. And in it, he wrote, and I'm going to comment on some of his stuff that he wrote. Um, this is what this is what I do right here. <laughs> when I write, I make my little notes on the side and I highlight. And yeah, it gets really real for me. He wrote, in considering the subject of creation, we see, first of all, that a distinction must be drawn between what I will call primary and secondary creation. That's pr thought provoking right there. That there's a primary creation and a secondary creation. Hmm. And he goes on to say primary creation is creation proper. It is that grand act. And right there, I un, I underlined that. And it just like really just jumped off the page to me. Grand act because, you know, we serve a grand God. And the things that he does and has done are grand. When we look at this world, from the smallest to the greatest thing, even the smallest thing is intricate. <laughs> When you look at an ant, I mean, it's it looks small, but when you really look at it, you see all the intricate parts. Yeah, God does grand things, no matter how big or how small the things visually are. Okay, it says, it is that grand act whereby Almighty God, in the beginning, called into being. Now, I'm going to put a pin right there. <sighs> he called into being. He used his words. He was verbal. He spoke. 
and being is a matter of existence. So when you think about that, it's like, okay, so things that are now were not then. God existed before he created anything he created. Before he created anything that we see and things that we don't see. He was before any that anything that he created. That's mind-blowing when you think about it. Um, it blew my mind. I love it. So, again, he says, secondary creation. I'm sorry, Almighty God. It is the grand act whereby Almighty God, in the beginning, called into being that finite world. Not infinite. <laughs> this world will not be here forever. However, in the meantime, the word says, the scripture says that we are to occupy ourselves. <laughs> you know, in in the world that we find ourselves in. But it says we are to occupy ourselves. Now I'm adding the rest, um, you know, that we are to occupy ourselves in, in the world that we find ourselves in, this world, this time. Because it is finite. It's not going to be here forever. I, our very life is finite. You know, we have but so many years to our life on this earth, and then we transition Then we transition to another life, you know, hopefully that's there with the creator and not in, not in a place of his absence. And that's, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother level right there. <laughs> um, well, I will continue this. That is my beep. I will continue this on the other video.